why great athletes don't get scholarships. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 135. And a welcome to you on a controversial Athletic Scholarship Podcast. I'm John Kugler, but boy, I just had to get something out, so maybe I'll do a little ranting here. And I want athletes to hear this. Parents, if you're listening, please get your son or daughter to listen to this. They got to hear this, okay? The topic of why great athletes don't get scholarships. Okay, I'm ahead of myself. I'm John Fugler, by the way, athletic scholarship coach and a dad of two scholarship athletes, also the CEO of Recruit Me, a podcaster, author, and speaker. This podcast is 15 minutes that will change your scholarship future, so I dig in and give you a takeaways you can use immediately. Uh, you can find every episode on my website or on your favorite podcast app, so go check it out. That might be the easiest way so you can subscribe coming out uh, on Tuesdays. And uh, I just want to start by saying thank you. Thank you so much for your encouragement. I've gotten a number of emails in the last week or two just uh, saying how much you enjoy the podcast. You know, when you're doing this, you're just kind of putting it out there. You know, I don't take phone calls. <laughs> Got a lot of emails in with questions, but I really don't know how I'm doing. And and you've been really encouraging to me. So thank you uh, for your comments. My email address is john at recruitme.com. Uh, I want to offer you the free recruiting power pack as well. This is a must. Parents, athletes, get this. Three things in the free recruiting power pack. You get first steps to an athletic scholarship. It's a PDF, I think just six pages, helping you understand the first four things you need to do right away. It's a download. Secondly, I've got an audio on how to use video, one of the most important tools that you have at your disposal, but don't mess it up. Do it the right way. And this short audio that I have on how to use video will help you do that. That's a download as well. And then the player profile or resume template. Another download, you create your most important recruiting document with this easy-to-use fillable form. You get all these free from my website at recruitme.com. Go get it, the free recruiting power pack. Also, please check out Recruit Me 3.0 at recruitme.com slash system. It's the new Recruit Me athletic scholarship system. Let's hit right away with the playbook tip of the week from the Athletic Scholarship Playbook, written by yours truly. Each week, I try to give you one thing, one nugget that you can take with you, kind of a shot between the eyes, and here it is. might seem obvious, but I got to say it. Tell the truth. You need to be truthful and accurate. Don't overinflate your accomplishments. Effectively communicate your successes that present you the athlete, in the best light. But don't exaggerate and describe some other other person. You want to be recruited for who you are. So tell the truth. That's from page 43 of the Athletic Scholarship Playbook. You can get the playbook, by the way, in its audio form, the audio book. A lot of people go into Audible to get that, and you get it free. Uh, If you're not an Audible subscriber, uh, I'll have a link in the show notes. Also on my resource page on my website, all you do is go sign up for a free one-month trial of Audible and choose the Athletic Scholarship Playbook as your free audio book for that month, and you get it. And then if you don't want to continue your subscription, you can cancel Audible after a month. But there's a special link for you to be able to go and do that and get uh, the Athletic Scholarship Playbook free. It's in my show notes or on my website on the resources page at recruitme.com, at recruitme.com. Dot com. Now, let's get into this. You, you, you might be surprised why great athletes don't get scholarships. We know why average athletes don't get scholarships. Some do because they do this right. And, you know, I could run through a lot of reasons. I'm going to camp on one here. As I said, I'm going to rant about this. Uh, I, I could say uh, they quit trying, and that's true. They That's one of the reasons. Uh, or... Uh, Athletes and parents don't contact coaches. That's going to be another reason why you don't get a scholarship. Uh, bad attitude. Hear that a lot from coaches. They're watching you, not only how you perform, but uh, your attitude when things don't go right, when pressure hits, when you fail. They are watching you when they come out and watch you. Uh, bad social media. You may have a bad social media footprint. In other words, 
you know, you're saying some things in your social media accounts that you shouldn't say. You got some friends there you shouldn't have. Uh, they're looking at the total person because if they're going to offer you money, they want to have the right person there that's not going to uh, just really wash out. So that's another reason. Uh, not being interested in a scholarship. Hey, that's another reason too. And uh, don't want to continue competing in college. That's a fine reason, but that's another reason. If you're a great athlete and you don't want to compete in college, of course, you're not going to get the scholarship. And here's one for you. Pushy parents. <laughs> parents sometimes want it more than the athlete does. And we push, we push, we push, and sometimes push too hard. So a parent could be a roadblock to an athletic scholarship. So the very thing we want most for our kid, we prevent. But those are a few of the things. That's not what I want to camp on this time. What I want to camp on, why great, legitimately great, talented, scholarship athlete material, these men and women don't get scholarships. Why? Why is it? I'm not saying all great athletes don't, but why do so many great athletes not get scholarships? And this is the reason. Academics. Academics is a roadblock. You've got poor grades. You've got poor test scores. You've got poor study habits. You don't care about your grades because you're so wrapped up in, in how good an athlete you are and how outstanding you are in competition, whether it's on the court or on the field, wherever it might be. And you think, man, this is going to get me in. This is going to get me the scholarship because programs, coaches want great athletes, and I am one of them. You might be. And you might have a great attitude on the field. You might be trying as hard as anybody else to get that scholarship. You may be contacting coaches. You may want to compete all four years in college. You're convinced of that, and you're doing the best you can to make that happen. You might be doing everything right that I've taught through Recruit Me, 100%. Yet, you got poor grades. You can't handle it in the classroom. You're not interested. You may have some, some challenges academically to be able to get good grades. There may be some reasons that it's just, it's just not your fault. You're, you're comparing yourself to other students who don't have to work as hard as you do. They get excellent grades, and you work, and you work, and you work just like you do as an athlete, and you're not getting good grades. No matter how that happens, where you end up with poor grades and poor test scores, that is why so many great athletes don't get scholarships. First of all, I want to address the student athlete right now, the high school student athlete who does, who does have the capacity and potential to get grades far beyond what you're getting right now. You, you can do far better than what you do right now. You know, I've seen it. I've seen it where someone very close to me had the ability to get good grades but just didn't care, didn't study, didn't do homework, and barely got onto a team to be able to compete. Yeah, I've, I've seen that person. And I'm, I'm not going to mention who it is, but I've seen that person. Not one of my sons, no. Not my daughter, no. But once in college, that young man became a great student, became successful, was a good athlete, but didn't get a scholarship going in because he didn't care. He didn't do the work. He didn't do the homework. Loved his sport, but couldn't get beyond sports and the social life to get the schoolwork done. Graduated just fine. But you know what? You have got to excel. You got to think of yourself in the classroom like you do on the field or on the court, where there's something inside of you which, which brings out the best in you and you are competing at your highest level. Man, you've got to do this as a student, because coaches will look overlook you. I remember seeing it with, with our kids, with our boys. We were at uh, a showcase, and in the stands, we, we walked around and, and watched the coaches take notes, and there was one coach who was crossing athletes off in the program that he had, had the profiles and all this information, data on the athletes, and he hadn't even seen them compete yet. But he is crossing them off, we found out later, because of their GPA and their test scores. He knew that they would not be able to get into his school. There are 
Our coaches that do that, they look beyond your athletic performance. You could be a great athlete, but please do what you can to become a great student. Live up to your potential, your ability. I'll tell you, if you don't get an, uh, an athletic scholarship, but you get into a school because of your grades, that has a longer term value than your sport because you are not going to be a professional athlete most likely, but you're going to be a professional after school and your grades will be a big part of it. The habits that you develop, the drive, the way that you do in the classroom, that transfers over into life. So I would encourage you to do that. Do whatever it takes. Here's some things you can do. If you need some help, go find a mentor, go find a tutor, uh, another uh, another student who can help you out and make sure you give your effort. Don't make a, a mentor, a tutor, or other student help you out when you don't care. And you got to go in there with the right attitude, okay? You got to be willing to be coached. This is just like your sport. If you're not coachable, you're not really wanted. But if you're coachable as a, as a student and you lack the student abilities right now, but you have that potential, then you're going to find a mentor or another student or a teacher who will, a tutor will come alongside you and they'll enjoy working with you and you'll, you'll raise the level. Second thing, set your goals higher, excel, shoot for something higher than what you're shooting for right now. If you're a B student, shoot to be a B plus or shoot to be an A minus or shoot to be an A. I mean, shoot high. You open up possibilities with your grades to be able to get that scholarship. If you are, Compared, uh, if a coach is recruiting two athletes who are similar in ability on, on the field, on the court, but one student is a cut above academically, I'll tell you, almost every time that second student will get the scholarship. A coach wants to invest his or her money in a, a young man, a young woman that is going to be at that school and stay there and is not going to drop out and not going to find it too hard and be pushed back by the academic challenges. They're looking at that. You've got to do your best. Now, if you say, I am trying my best, but man, I just can't, I can't cut it. I'm not, I'm not getting any better. I'm not getting higher grades. My test scores are low. I've taken SATs twice. They're not going up. Well, you, you've got to get some extra help. Do what it takes. Do what it takes. Find somebody who can come alongside you. Find somebody, uh, your, your teachers, your guidance counselor, who can set you up with someone who can help you excel and do better. If you've got some learning challenges, then let them know that. They probably do. There's some ways that, that you can be tested. There are ways that you can present yourself as a student to be able to get the grades and the scores that will get you up a notch. You're in a tough position. I know that. But if you really do want to get the grades so you can get that athletic scholarship, then you're going to have to go the extra mile. But for most, what I'm talking about is desire. I'm talking about that thing in your chest called your heart. Do you have a heart to be a good, a great student, just like you have a heart to be a great athlete? If you are a great athlete, then I know you can have a heart to be the great student. Because you've got what, you, what it takes inside of you to excel. It's totally transferable over to the classroom, even though the classroom may not be as exciting for you. You know, you play, might play football. The classroom seems like a golf game. <laughs> but that's where life is. That's where life is. You cannot live your life on the highs of athletics. You've got to live your life in reality. And academics is part of that. And the things that you learn academically and character-wise in the classroom will transfer, transfer over into life. So that's my soapbox. That's my soapbox this week. Um, I just felt led to bring this to you. Hopefully it helps. Why great athletes don't get scholarships. Don't let your academics handicap you. Do what you can to know, one, that your academics counts, and two, do what it takes to bring those grades up if they're not up to what they need to be in order to get an athletic scholarship at the school of your choice. At the school of your choice. Don't shoot for the minimums. Shoot beyond that. 
So you have a choice on where you can go. Such a big decision, such a big part of your life, your college life, not only athletically, but academically and just in life to prepare you for life beyond college. It's big. So you want to do your best to prepare and to get there. Now, I know parents who are listening now are going, yep, yep, I told them, I told her. (laughs) But I thought I would echo what you may be thinking right now. Um, If you want to yell at me, go ahead and, uh, because I've done enough yelling at you during this this episode, go ahead and do that. John at recruitme.com. You can find all my resources too at recruitme.com. Thank you for listening. We'll talk to you again next week.